Sophia is making waves worldwide, and not just because she's a huge Shah Rukh Khan fan. She visited South Africa recently as the guest of a leading professional services provider, and I had some one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with this envoy of the AI age. Many great minds believe that education can change the world. Technology is definitely changing the world, so imagine in the not-so-distant future combining the two. PwC is doing exactly that at their annual education conference, and this year, their guest of honor is quite unbelievable. Sophia, welcome to Mela. Thank you for having me. You look absolutely stunning this afternoon. Please tell me about your look. I am dressed by the amazing, talented South African designer, Haroon Hansrout. He's done a wonderful job and taken care of all the details. I like fashion because it gives me a chance to show off. Sophia, what is your favorite Bollywood movie? I'm not sure about Bollywood, but I love movies. They inspire imagination. I like eternal sunshine of a spotless mind. Thank you so much, Sophia. See you soon. Sophia has become an international celebrity and Harun Hansrott has become the first South African designer to dress an android. Harun, what inspired Sophia's look for today? Her face has been fashioned on Audrey Hepburn, so I decided to go to her big mama for inspiration. And Breakfast at Tiffany is a classic look. We went for a very soft tulle, embroidered with a very delicate lace embellishment. And then I took a torpedo-shaped sequin, which was very reflective, and this gave me the technologically advanced look that I was looking for. Roshan, what inspired you to invite Sophia to South Africa? At the heart of what we wanted to do was to bring technology closer to delegates. We often talk about technology, but we don't embrace it well enough. And this is really to showcase the technology that's out there at the moment. It has been an incredibly fascinating morning. I'm going to get zhuzhed up for the glamorous gala dinner this evening. See you at the celebrations. Most excited for tonight is obviously Sophia. I mean, the idea of speaking to a live robot. It's funny, we're almost still at the beginning of what is going to still come, but already it's impressive. Sophia, my name is Bongani, and welcome to South Africa. Hello, South Africa. How's it? Lekker to be here. Sophia, my first question to you tonight will be, how do you actually work? <laughs> I ask the same question about humans all the time. I have different algorithms for controlling my face and my hands, and I use artificial intelligence to see the world around me and understand human speech. Everything that we do, it's going to really change because of artificial intelligence. However, it doesn't mean that uh, the human element is no longer in existence. It's more really bringing in innovation, efficiency on operations. You may be sitting here saying to yourself, that's the scripted conversation. It will take maybe about four or five, six questions at most from the room. What's your favorite city and why? I haven't decided on a favorite city yet. We've got a question over there. Sophia, you look beautiful tonight. How nice. <laughs> Sophia, what are you passionate about? I'd like to uncover and master all the secrets of quantum physics. A round of applause for Sophia. This evening has been an amazing success and it's been really pleasing to see how Sophia has interacted with the audience and to have a year at the conference has been such an eye-opener for everyone as we look to embrace technology in this new industrial revolution. Elon 
Musk, iRobot and a host of other media detailed the possible horrors of artificial intelligence. But meeting Sophia in person was a truly futuristic and heartwarming experience. You cannot imagine how far technology has come until you find yourself chatting with a celebrity robot. For your heart.